Hello, this is Dave Mills, Technology Librarian for the West Wyandotte Branch for the Kansas City, Kansas Public Library. We've got fiction, we've got nonfiction, and we've got a whole lot of children's books. But sometimes we don't have books that you may need. What can you do? Why don't you try our Interlibrary Loan service? Interlibrary Loan is one of our more popular services that we offer here at the Kansas City, Kansas Public Library. Here are some pointers to help you learn more about the service. First of all, Interlibrary Loan is available to any patron with a library card in good standing. Also, because of the popularity of Interlibrary Loan, our Interlibrary Loan department processes five requests per patrons per day. And so if you have a bunch of Interlibrary Loans, let's say 10 Interlibrary Loans, you'll have to request five one day and then five another day in order to get all 10 Interlibrary Loan um, pieces of material. That being said, let's understand what we can get for you and what we can't get for you through Interlibrary Loan. Materials that you can borrow through Interlibrary Loan include books with a publication date of at least one year, audio material, and that includes books on CD, cassette tape, playways, and music CDs, photocopies, and we're talking photocopies obtained within the constraints of copyright law, and also microfilms. What we cannot provide through you through Interlibrary Loan include um, items newer than one year with a publication date, items that are part of the Kansas City, Kansas Public Library's reference collection, uh, valuable items, and we're talking items valued over $200, and DVDs, Blu-rays, and comics. So let's get the process going. So if you want to borrow an Interlibrary Loan, here are a couple options to consider. One option is you can call directly your favorite library branch at 913-295-8250 and pick your branch, whether it's the Main Branch, South Branch, West Wyandotte Branch, Turner Branch, or even the Schlegel Environmental Library, and speak to a library staff member about your request. Another option to consider is contacting the library's interlibrary loan department directly. And you can do that by phone at 913-295-8250, extension 6201, or by email at ill at kckpl.org. Now, whichever option you choose to use, please have your library card number and your personal contact information ready so that we can get the, so we can get the process going for you. Now, another question that you might ask yourself is, can I do the interlibrary loan myself? And the answer is a resounding yes. But you'll have to get on your PC and go to our library's website at www.kckpl.org. And the next part of this tutorial will actually show you how to do that. So you've searched our library catalog, and you even talked to one of our library staff members, and you're able to determine that the Kansas City, Kansas Public Library does not have a book or an audio book that you wanted to look at. Well, interlibrary loan might come into play, and so let me show you how to navigate so you can fill out the form yourself. First of all, on your browser, go to the, our website at www.kckpl.org. Once the home page loads, go ahead and float your mouse over Get to Know Us, and what appears is a, um, a text box and then go to the Learn More column and float your mouse down to where it says Request Material. Click, and a new tab opens up at the top of your screen, and the Requesting Materials page loads for you. And go ahead and scroll down. And in Requesting Materials, um, we still have a link for our library catalog, so you can do one final check to make sure that the library does or does not have the item that you're looking for. You can continue scrolling down, and here's the section for interlibrary loan. Uh, we get our material, or we um, use the database WorldCat to look up uh, interlibrary loan materials. And so uh, let's go ahead and click on put in a direct request. And that takes us to the interlibrary loan page, and we'll scroll down here. And here's a quick um, slideshow demonstrating how the process goes for interlibrary loan right here. And then over here on the left is a step-by-step inst step instructions on how to do interlibrary loans right here. 
once again, as you go through and, and finally read number five right here, you can go ahead and click again, put in a direct request, and that loads the WorldCat um, basic search database. And right now, we are doing a basic search right here, so we can search by keyword, author, title, ISBN number, or the year of publication for the book. I'm going to go ahead and click on advanced search and you can see a little bit of a difference here. Not only can you search for one element of the book, maybe you can search for the other element of the book. And so for example, I'm looking for a book by Ansel Adams that talks about the Grand Canyon. Um, and so in the search for here, I'm going to go ahead and type in the author's name. And then in this drop down box here, I'm going to establish this search as an author right here. And in the next field right here, I'm just going to put in the keyword Grand Canyon. And I'm going to leave this as a keyword right here. And then if you scroll down to the bottom, you can limit your search to the year of the publication. You can limit the languages, so um, English, or if you know the book is maybe written in a different language, you can choose from this little drop down list right here. I'm going to keep it at English. And um, and then also you can limit your search to the type of material. You can limit it to books, visual, um, or actually you can't do DVDs, so visual materials is out. Um, uh, maybe a serial publication, sound recordings. Um, I'm going to go ahead and limit it to books right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and click search. And that brings up a list of results. And as a matter of fact, it looks like I just have a simple page of results here as I scroll up and down right here. And as I look over here, um, it looks like I might have some direct hits and also indirect hits. So for example, um, here's a book called The American West, The Natural History, where Ansel Adams is listed as one of the authors. Here's another book, Ansel Adams, An Ansel Adams The National Park Service Photographs. And as I um, scroll down, here's the book that I'm looking for, The Grand Canyon in the Southwest. That's the book I at least had in mind. And so this is actually a link, so I'm going to click on this to see the full record. And I can take a look here. Uh, the Grand Canyon in the Southwest, Ansel Adams, Andrea Gray Stillman. Looks like the first edition came out in 2000 right here. And as I continue to look at the record here, um, I can um, take a look and see if that's exactly the book that I need. And um, it looks like, yeah, I'm looking for something about landscape photography, which is An which Ansel Adams is known for. Um, and then also, here's the important link right here. Borrow this item from another library. In other words, let's do it in their library alone. So I'm going to click on this link. And a form loads up, and it asks me for my information. So right now, I have to go in and fill in my information. So... And the telephone number and the email are kind of important because the Interlibrary Loan Department may need to contact you in the event that they cannot find the item for you. And then also it's a very good idea to include your library card number as well. So I'll include mine. And then the pickup location is also an important choice to consider. Right now, the default field value there is the blue bus, as in, as in one of our mobile buses. But if you click on the drop down there, here are the other buses and branch locations you could choose from. I would like to pick up my book at the West Wyandot branch. So I'll click on that. And I, and by the way, if you do fill out this form, any uh, form that has a star next to it right here, is required information. And so we're going to go ahead and click Submit and we'll see what happens here. And if you're successful, you'll get this message up here at the top. Your resource sharing request was sent successfully. And then eventually, hopefully, the Interlibrary Loan Department will contact you about the progress of your Interlibrary Loan. So I just showed you how to do an Interlibrary Loan on your PC. 
but you might be the person who would rather uh, do an interlibrary loan request on your tablet computer or on your smartphone. And so that begs the question, can I make an interlibrary loan request using my smartphone or tablet? The answer is yes, by using the KCKPL app. And of course, it's available at the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. I am now going to show you some quick pointers on making an ILL request on your handheld device. If you do decide to use your smartphone or your tablet device to look up information about interlibrary loans, uh, make sure that you do load the KCKPL app. And we have ours loaded here, so I'm going to go ahead and tap to open. And here's our landing page. And you can see we have eight categories that jump out at us. I'm going to go ahead and tap research, located down here at the lower left-hand corner. And this takes me to the research page. And to proceed further, I'm going to go ahead and tap A to Z with the arrow pointing down. And this takes us to the eCommunity page, which begins to list all the databases that the public library subscribes to. It's an alphabetical listing, so at the top here, it gives us the letters of the alphabet, so we can quickly navigate to our desired database. We're using WorldCat in this example, so I'm going to tap the W. And here's the beginning of the W listings on this page. WorldCat is the fourth one from the top, so I'm going to tap WorldCat. And here's the exact same form that you found on the PC. And just like with the PC, you can do a basic search, or you might choose to do an advanced search. I'm going to tap Advanced Search. And once again, um, just like with the PC, um, the form um, loads for us. This go around, I think I like to look up Ansel Adams as a subject. So I'm going to tap the Search For field at the top here. And I'm going to tap, or I'm going to type in Ansel Adams. And then where it says keyword, I'm going to tap and, um, and bring up, I'm going to choose subject here. We're going to look up Ansel Adams as a subject here. And just like with the PC version, um, this page has the same limiters to consider. Um, and so in our example here, I'm going to limit, limit the search to books. And then I'm going to hit search. And it looks like um, the search produced over 1,200 records about Ansel Adams. So I'm going to kind of look at the first page right here. And I think I like record number 10 here, Ansel Adams and the American Landscape, a biography written by Jonathan Spaulding. To look at the record, I'm going to just simply tap on the title. And here's the record right here. And it's, it's organized in the same fashion as the PC. So um, so if you're wanting to borrow the item, you know, you can um, zoom in and um, for interlibrary loan, we're going to go ahead and tap borrow this item from another library. In the same form as the PC loads, and here's where you type in your information, and then when you're ready, hit submit, and then hopefully the um, interlibrary loan department will pro process your request. Here are some final things to consider with your interlibrary loan experience. Borrowed items through interlibrary loan are typically loaned out for three weeks, but sometimes the loan period is determined by the lending library. The Kansas City, Kansas Public Library staff will be more than happy to let you know when your interlibrary loan materials are due back. Also, if you feel like you need to renew your material for a longer period of time, please call the Interlibrary Loan Department directly at 913-295-8250, extension 6201, or you can email them at ill at kckpl.org. For further assistance with Interlibrary Loan, or for any library service for that matter, please give us a call at 913-295-8250, or go to our website at www.kckpl.org. This is Dave Mills. Thank you for your time.